Good morning, OT Life Hacker with what's in my OT bag. So someone in the comments below of another video had asked for what's in my OT bag. My OT school bag, OT fieldwork bag. We are doing my OT fieldwork bag for pediatrics, outpatient, and school setting. So in my fieldwork, it is both school and outpatient setting so I'm gonna show you what I have so also if you want to know more about anything related to OT feel free to ask me ask the OT life hacker community write it in the comments below of any of the videos or you can direct message me on Instagram my Instagram is OT life hacker OT space or underscore life hacker and you can find me on there so i will get into it also just a heads up like and subscribe y'all thank you because the more subscribers we can get the more awareness we'll have for the channel and spreading more about occupational therapy with others i'm so happy that there's a lot more now of students and occupational therapy or occupational therapists reaching out um in the social media and YouTube community because when I started my occupational therapy there was not much of anything and so it that is actually what uh, spearheaded this idea to start the channel and so it's so nice to see that there's a lot more out there so thank you to all of you who are out there and who are also looking for videos like this because that's why we're here to help you guys out and again, in the comment section below, please feel free to write anything about OT that you want to know because others can chime in and share their perspective. I'm just one of the many perspectives that are out there. All right, into my OT school bag. I got nothing. <laughs> That's right, I got no bag. I'm usually the bag lady and I have tons of bags. Ask my friends. But now... I have nothing, it's also because of the pandemic, I don't want to be bringing stuff into the work setting. So, I bring only my essentials, my key, phone, wallet, one of my friends named Kayla taught me this. Thank you, Kayla. And I bring my name tag that you see here, so the kids can recognize me, they can see my name. So, you know, you're testing the kids' reading and comprehension and memory, and if they need a memory aid, they got this, yep. And then today's activity is also what I bring, my school lunch, my water bottle, my glasses, my mask, my face shield, and this is what I bring. Well, what I brought today for my treatment plan, it is week three, week three, but I'm able to start doing my own treatment plans. I'm leading them already. It's so cool. So if you show interest and initiative right from the get-go, they your your supervisor may just as well let you get a head start okay so i drew out pictures to give a heads up to the kids what they're gonna do some kids such as with adhd and other um other conditions they might they likely want to have a very controlled environment um, be able to predict what you're going to do so it will help to have visual aids of what you're going to do and with the kids i want to have them do fine motor activities and be able to kind of do like identity um object recognition too just to see if they can recognize shapes such as, can you do a circle? Draw a circle. Can you do half circle? Do that. And then some curvy lines for extra challenge. And you grade it up or down. So kids that cannot do this full motion of this squiggly line, just have them do a circle. If they can't do this, just have them draw a circle. Have them draw another circle on top. Have them draw a half circle through it. There's so many different ways that you can grade it up and down. And by grading, I mean you're making the activity harder or easier by adjusting one thing within the skill you're testing. So if I'm testing fine motor, if they can't do the small lines, give them a bigger marker or give them a bigger space to work with so they can use more gross motor motions, meaning the full body. So there's a lot of things you can do. It's pretty incredible and I'll talk more about this later. Uh, but the other things I want to talk about is if they're color 
if they prefer colors, they can use different colors, they can color it in, and that also tests their hand-eye coordination and being able to stay in the lines, self-control, self-regulation, because if they stay out, if they go off the lines, how do they cope with that? Are they able to keep within the lines, attention to the activity? So are they able to stay within the line, shows that they can stay attentive to the test, they can recall what the rules are, they're following directions. There's a lot of things that you're testing. Okay, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. See you, see you later. And again, please like and subscribe, help the channel out, and help raise awareness about the channel. It helps a lot to have others be aware that there's resources out there for them, who people who are in OT, wondering what OT is about, interested in occupational therapy. There's so much that we do and so much to spread awareness about. Thank you guys so much. Again, my OT Life Hacker channel. I have an Instagram that you can direct message me on if you have questions or want new videos about certain things and you can also write in the comments below and the whole community can chat up about it. Okay.